I'm Adriana, new brand ambassador with Spanish 55. I am really excited to join the Spanish 55 team and to help you be fluent in one of the most beautiful and romantic languages known to man. Okay, I may be a little biased, but I think you agree. Make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you can learn Spanish in no time. Today, I have a very interesting topic for you. Did you know that there are words in Spanish that don't have an English equivalent? Well, I'm here to translate the untranslatable for you. Untranslatable, is that a word? I don't want you to feel frustrated when you hear one of these enigmas, so here are five Spanish words that don't exist in English. Let's do this. The first word we're going to learn is antier. Listen to this and see if you can figure out what it means. I was dating someone for a couple of weeks and it was going to be their birthday. So I bought a present and I was so proud of myself for remembering. When I gave them their present, they said this. Mi cumpleaños fue antier. No, tú me dijiste que era el 20 de agosto. Sí, hoy es 22. Antier, can you guess what it means? It means the day before yesterday. El día antes de ayer. Here are a couple more phrases with the word antier. Antier, fui a la playa. The day before yesterday, I went to the beach. Mi amiga llegó de su viaje a España antier. My friend got back from her trip to Spain the day before yesterday. This next word is a little more complicated because it describes a state of being. The word is asoleado. Technically, it means to expose something to the sun for a long time. Have you ever been under the sun for a long time and felt drained, irritable, even a little disoriented and dizzy? Feeling asoleado is a term used to describe this mental and physical feeling of exhaustion. Tricky thing is, this term can be used even if these symptoms aren't caused by the sun. For example, I was in class and the kid behind me kept using his pencil to play with my hair. Alberto, para! I would tell him to stop, but he kept on going. For days. He had me beyond annoyed. He had me asoleada. Alberto, para! Me estás asoleando. And the next time he touched my hair, I turned around, grabbed his pencil, and threw it across the room. Something I would never have done in my right mind. I was a quiet, shy kid with straight A's that didn't even talk to anyone. But when you're asoleado, you're no longer acting under your usual sound judgment. And so I ended up getting detention for the first time in my life. And not gonna lie, I cried. This next word is one of my favorites. You'll find out why. Have you ever bought something new and couldn't wait to show it off? The most fitting interpretation of the word estrenar would be to use or wear something for the first time. It is most commonly used for new clothing. Here are a couple more phrases with the word estrenar. Ayer me estrené mi nueva tarjeta de crédito. Yesterday I used my brand new credit card for the first time. Hoy voy a estrenar todo lo que me compré con ella. Today, I'm going to use everything I bought with it for the first time. Who loves payday? I know I do. Our next word is quincena, which means a period of 15 days and refers to exactly that, payday. It comes around every 15 days, more often than not the 15th and the 30th of each month. The word that could somehow come close would be Fortnite. But even that conveys a period of two weeks, which doesn't quite add up to 15 days. Here are a couple more phrases with the word quincena. Cuando llegue la quincena, voy a adoptar un perro. After having worked 15 days, when I get paid, I am going to adopt a dog. ¿Qué vas a hacer tú cuando llegue la quincena? What are you going to do when you get your paycheck after your 15 days of work? The reason why estrenar wasn't my favorite word on this list is because te quiero is. Nothing beats love. Hope you're a romantic because things are about to get a little gushy. 
Imagine you are in a new relationship. You're having a candlelit dinner with your girlfriend or boyfriend. And as you look at them across the table, you realize you're starting to fall for this beautiful human. And boy, do you want to tell them, but somehow I like you isn't enough. And saying I love you is going way too far. Wouldn't it be awesome if there were an intermediate way to express how you feel? If you're lucky enough to be a Spanish speaker, then you have just the way to do so. You can say, te quiero. Te quiero means more than I like you, but not quite I love you. Te quiero tanto que todo el día pienso en ti. I like you so much that I think about you all day, but I, I don't quite love you yet. <laughs> te quiero is a way to say this without sounding mean. And we have come to the end of our fun list of five Spanish words that can't be translated into English. These words are not only fascinating, but they also give us a peek into the Spanish culture and improve our understanding of the language. What did you think? Join the conversation in the comments below and tell me which word was your favorite. Which one do you think we should have in English? Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you can get a ping for my next video. If you would like the benefit of one-on-one -on -one Spanish coaching, you can take advantage of the Spanish 55 tutors who will help you get more confident and take you to the next level. Hasta la próxima, amigos. I'll see you in the next video.